What's up guys? So today I've got my hands on the Buzz TV X5 Special Edition. So we got another premium streaming box from Buzz TV and Buzz TV are already well known for their enhanced TV experience with the custom software, their PVR time shift functions and lots lots more. So in this video we'll be doing the full test review of the special edition to find out the capabilities, the performance, gaming and to see how it ranks in our top TV box chart of 2023. Now first of all inside the box you will find a card with QR code so you can download your user manuals which is very convenient. We've got an HDMI cable, a USB to DC power cable, a USB power supply and you've got some travel adapters included. I am of course interested in the UK one so if I stick that on and here is a close-up of all the power information. You're also getting a full featured Bluetooth remote control and this is one of their best remotes, it's uh, fully functional, lots of great features and the batteries are also included in the box. Last but certainly not least, the TV box itself. It's made completely from metal and it's finished in this two-tone purpley pink color and you've got that trademark honeycomb design, Buzz TV logo in the center. On the front you've got your power LEDs, on the side we've got micro SD expansion, USB 3, USB 2. On the back you can see your dual external Wi-Fi antennas. You've got an AV port, gigabit LAN, HDMI 2.1, optical out, power socket. And if we keep going, nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front. So really liking that two-tone metallic finish on the front as well. So really interesting colors. Here is a quick look at the bottom of the box and you can see plenty of ventilation at the bottom too bottom also made from metal so this box is powered by the amlogic s905 x4 which is a quad core along with mali g31 graphics you've got four gigs of ddr4 ram and 128 gigs of internal storage you do have micro sd expansion this box does feature wi-fi 6 with dual antennas we've got gigabit lan bluetooth 5.0 it's running full android version 11 and you do of course get that custom software by buzz tv with the enhanced pvr time shift functions especially to enjoy your internet tv services now we've got hdmi 2.1 this does support 4k 60 and also supports hdr 10 plus with the av1 codec now, first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 34 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And this is full Android 11 with Buzz TV's latest skin on top. The interface is heavily designed with your internet TV services in mind. At the top, you've got your settings and server settings where you can log into your internet TV services. And the top categories, you can see live TV, then VOD, TV series, PVR function. So you can actually record any live program directly to the internal storage with EPG function. And then we have a row of icons with our favorite apps. So you can click the plus sign and add all your favorite apps in the order you prefer. And if you tap on all apps, you will see all the apps installed on this box. You've got quite a few apps to get you started like Netflix, YouTube, VLC Player, Chrome, and the Google Play Store. Now, I'm actually surprised to see that this is actually the Android TV version of the Play Store. So it's not the full version, it's the limited Android TV version. Now if we head over to the main system settings, go to device preferences and check out the system storage info, you will see that this box has 128 gigs of internal storage from which you have 114 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this box is apparently running Android TV OS version 11, which is quite strange as I was actually expecting full Android 11. So I guess that explains the Android TV version of the Play Store. Now, if we go to more settings, you will see the power key definition and picture settings where you can further optimize things. Furthermore, under Buzz TV utilities, you will find your system update, home screens, weather, remote and volume control. If you click on home screens, you will see that there is four different home screens that you could select. We have the Buzz TV Classic, and this is what it looks like. Then we also have the Buzz TV Media Player, so a kind of more simplified icon layout. And then we have Buzz TV Media Player 2, which I actually really like. It's a, it's a nice layout, but the best of the best is Buzz TV Modern, which is my absolute favorite and the best home screen that they have launched so far. Now under remote control, you have a few customization options. You can switch the remote backlights on or off. You can also customize the pointer speed for the mouse cursor 
and you can also map the colored buttons on the remote. So you can see I've already assigned YouTube to the red button, but you can easily change that up to any app you like. Now I just want to quickly confirm that there is no native option for screen mirroring on this box, but you can of course download third-party apps like AirScreen from the Play Store, which will at least let you mirror your iPhone screen. So next up, we're playing 4K video samples from a USB drive, and I will be doing this with the included VLC media player. So let's begin with the usual high bitrate jellyfish demo. The first video sample, 160 megabits per second, and you can see it's playing quite effortlessly, nice and smooth. Next clip, 180 megabits per second, also handles very well. And finally, the real test, 400 megabits per second, 4K jellyfish demo, which starts good and then all of a sudden freezes. So 400 megabits per second is not happening on this box. Now thereafter, I also tested some 4K 60 videos with various HDR formats. And as you guys can see, they all played back beautifully. Vibrant colors and great looking HDR. I also tried testing out an AV1 clip, but it looks like AV1 playback is not supported, at least from VLC player. Okay, so now we're moving on to the 4K YouTube test, and I'm pleased to say YouTube does support 4K60 with HDR, and the playback is super smooth with no dropped frames. I had a vision. People burning. Everything destroyed. We're in hell here. There's no rules in hell. Let the game begin. You got a problem here, guy? Living out my wildest dreams. Bianca. Rocky. Zanai. <laughs> Also tested out the pre-installed Netflix and unfortunately you are limited to SD quality that's 540p streaming max. So no Netflix HD or 4K supported on this box. But I am happy to say that Disney Plus does support 4K with HDR10 and it works great. Also Amazon Prime Video was able to stream 1080p max with HDR. Alright so now we're going to do a quick basic gaming test starting off with Beach Buggy Racing. Now for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see we are running the Mali G3 one. This box is running Android 11 and does not come rooted as standard. Furthermore, here are the results for the internal storage speeds. We achieved read speeds of 155 and write speeds of 93 megabytes per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench single core score of 154 and multi core score of 537. And in the anti 2 benchmark test, we achieved 103K. So let's see how this compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box performance chart for 2023, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. The ranking is based on Antutu benchmark scores. So the higher the score, the more powerful the performance of that box. Now, based on that, you can see that the Buzz TV X5 Special Edition has achieved position 10 on this chart with a benchmark score of 103K. I've also given this box an overall rating of 4.8 out of 5. So from this chart, you can see the performance scores and my overall rating all color coded to make it easy for you to read. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it, guys. That was the Buzz TV X5 Special Edition. And here are my thoughts. I really like the design and build quality. Specifications are also good, along with great overall performance. And if you're wondering what do you get in this special edition when compared to the standard version, well, you're getting that metal build with the unique color finish, and you're getting, more importantly, Wi-Fi 6. 
Standard model is in black and silver and has regular 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi um, and is a lot cheaper in price. So unless you need that color or Wi-Fi 6, um, you could just go for the standard version and save yourself some money. You've already seen most of the positive things this box can do. Performance wise, you should have a good idea from my tests. But here are some caveats for you to consider. There is no native screen mirroring option but you can download third party apps. Netflix is unfortunately limited to SD quality due to the usual licensing issues. And also AV1 samples did not work from VLC player. Also, there is no doubt this is an expensive streaming box and it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But on the plus side, it offers a solid connection, great streaming experience, and the custom internet TV software with PVR and time shift is what you're paying that premium for. I absolutely love having that PVR recording function and you don't have to attach an external drive for your recordings. It can record whatever you're watching directly to the internal 128 storage, which is amazing. But of course, you can choose to record to an external drive if you prefer. Many will say pay extra and get the Nvidia Shield TV, which might be true, but I can't ignore the quality, performance and the software that you get with this box. But if I had to choose, I would probably go for the standard edition as it's priced much better. Now that's all for this video. Any questions, you guys know what to do. Do hit like and sub to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.